Gavin Hewitt in Paris. Well, to get more on this, we can cross over to Washington to speak to Mark Bloomfield, the president of the American Council for Capital Formation. And Mark, let's pick up on that last point that uh, Gavin made. Are all the indicators suggesting that the current strategies, which are focusing on austerity, they're simply not working? Well, I think uh, focusing on austerity alone is not the answer. The real answer is growth. And um, unlike uh, some politicians, one cannot spend your way out of it. One needs to um, uh, encourage a strong private sector, um, liberalizing uh, labor conditions, uh, encouraging uh, a foreign investment. For example, not a single candidate in France uh, for president talked about encouraging um, a foreign investment or encouraging the new Steve Jobs of France. So yes, austerity is not the answer, but growth is the answer, but not the way the politicians are talking. Now, markets, as we're seeing, they do not like political uncertainty. How, how can the Eurozone convincingly calm this situation? If I had the answer, I wouldn't be here. I would, I would be the president of France, Spain, and Greece, uh, and Germany combined. Um, I think there are a couple of realities. One is democracies, unfortunately, cannot make those hard economic uh, choices uh, that are required. Uh, number two, I think a problem is that um, um, the middle class, which is the strength of, of Europe and the rest of the world, uh, is alienated. And I don't know how you capture their strength, capture their, their confidence. Maybe you need a Margaret Thatcher, maybe you need an Adenauer. Maybe you need a Ronald Reagan. And third, I think, which is critically important, which you're seeing through the markets, is Merkel was wrong when she said this is the most difficult economic crisis since World War II. It is the most difficult economic challenge since the Depression. And obviously, the United States coming up to um, your own presidential elections. What do you think Obama and his contender, whoever that may be, what lessons are they learning from this? Um, a lot of people criticize uh, the Tea Party. Uh, per se, it may not be a potent uh, political identi identity in itself, but I think what you have in common in the Tea Party in the United States, in Le Penistes in France, uh, in the disaffected in Greece who are abandoning the major par parties, is, is a p alienation, an alienation which is not a question of xenophobia or racism, but it's an alienation of the middle class, people who are tired of government uh, or elites in governments taking from them and, and not... Uh, not uh, creating opportunities for, for, for the average middle class uh, person. So I think the lessons that the president should take and the Republican nominee is that you have a tremendous political alienation and you have an economic policy uh, that has failed throughout the world. Mark Bloomfield, president of the American Council for Capital Formation, good to talk to you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Well, Rico, you've got the latest from the world stock markets.